Good morning. Good morning, my loves. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle, and welcome to A Mornings with Michelle. Today, we're going to be talking about forgiveness forgiveness of yourself for any guilt that you might have or any shame that you might carry. So I want you to go ahead and get something warm or cold to drink. Today I'm drinking my green tea with lemon. I'm drinking it iced. Let's go ahead and sit down and have a conversation. So I wanted to start this series off by talking about shame and guilt. These particular emotions can be so damaging to a person's life because it truly holds you back. Now the idea of shame and guilt look very different for different people. So depending on the magnitude of whatever we're talking about, you may feel very bad about it or you might even feel like it's truly unforgivable. For example, some lower level things that people tend to feel very guilty about are things like food choices, making poor choices and things that they're eating. It can be any decisions that you're not proud of, like maybe an emotional outburst that you weren't predicting to have, maybe damaging something someone gave you to borrow, or you know, just maybe losing something someone gave you to borrow, not being able to pay someone back for something, things of that magnitude. And then there's other things that we here on Earth classify as like bigger bigger things to feel guilty or shameful about, things like maybe not respecting your body when you were younger and allowing people to take advantage of your body, um, maybe something like a crime, something where it affected someone else's life. It could be something that you're currently still suffering the consequences from. and so. It's that much more painful because it's not yet over. And sometimes it can be the lack of doing something, like maybe you wish you would have said something and because you didn't, something happened or that's how you perceived it. You, you believe had you done what you wanted to do or should have done, that that thing wouldn't have happened or maybe the person isn't even here anymore. Maybe they passed away and you feel like had you maybe spent more time with this person or done A, B, and C, things would be different. And that weighs hard on you. This is very normal. We all do this to ourselves. We all are hard on ourselves about certain things. Now, some of us are much harder on ourselves than others, but we tend to beat ourselves up so bad when we do something that's wrong. And most of the time, people may not even know about it it's personal but we cannot stop feeling bad about it and we think about it over and over and over again we literally relive the moment and it could have been something that happened when you were seven but you're 35 years old reliving that moment all the time it really keeps you stuck in a moment in time when you don't let it go now with some of the things that are on a larger scale some people feel so much guilt and so much shame that they end up doing things like self-harm, things that are very permanent. And it's all because of a feeling that they cannot shake. So one thing that everyone should know and understand is that no matter what you did, big or small in our eyes, it is all the same. It is all the same. And the great news especially if you are a Christian like me, is that this is the whole point of Jesus coming and dying on the cross for your sins, for these specific things. We're not perfect. And the reason that Jesus came and died for us is so that we're able to make these terrible mistakes and still come back and be forgiven for them. In these moments when you're feeling bad and you're just beating yourself down, you have to remember that everyone has regrets. Everyone has a past. Everyone has a future. Just because things haven't happened doesn't mean they won't happen. And we all make decisions every single day, so many decisions, that you're bound to make a mistake. You're bound to do something you should not have done. The biggest thing is number one, realizing that you did do that taking ownership of whatever you did and truly being sorry, truly wishing that you would have never done that. 
Now there are times when a person is a victim of some sort of crime or some sort of behavior, but they still put the guilt on themselves. They still feel like something about them caused this thing to happen, or maybe in the moment they didn't even realize how wrong it was. And those types of self-work take time. And the reason why is because you're putting guilt onto yourself that truly does not belong to you. And in those circumstances, it does usually require additional help from a counselor, a pastor, someone in the mental health field to get you to that thought pattern. But for the issues that you can truly take ownership for, where you were truly in the wrong, number one is own it. Tell yourself, yes, this happened. Yes, I did this. This did happen. Number two is to apologize if you can. If it was a situation where something was brought to light and you have to apologize for it, then that is one of the most important steps for yourself. Now, if the person doesn't accept the apology, that really doesn't matter. At that point, that's up to that person and in their own growth journey to learn how to forgive others. You honestly cannot get caught up in someone's inability to forgive you. It doesn't matter how horrible what you did was. Once you are truly apologetic, you've done your part in apologizing. And sometimes if you stay in that place where you're seeking their forgiveness, some people will take advantage of that. They'll take advantage of the fact that you are seeking that forgiveness and you will do any and everything to get that person to say, I forgive you. And people can drag you through the mud because they know that you're in an emotionally vulnerable space and you're more willing to do things that you wouldn't normally do. So you have to be very careful of that. You do your part in apologizing and then move forward. Forgiving yourself is not easy. I'm not saying that this is something that's gonna just happen instantly, but you must try and do it as soon as possible. Don't let it linger and fester and sit. It's really important for you not to be too hard on yourself. In that moment that you made that decision, you were doing what you knew then, and you cannot blame yourself for something that you didn't know. It's important in these moments to truly learn from that choice. And what I mean by that is if something happened, not only learn from the situation at hand, but do some research. Nowadays with social media, you can find a thousand other people who have made the same mistake you have made. It is important to repent, to talk to God and let God know that you are truly remorseful, truly sorry for that action and change your mind, change your perspective on that issue and truly turn from it and not do it again and not glorify it either. There are certain things that we do that we may feel guilty for, but in certain moments we may still glorify. For example, if you used to be extremely promiscuous and now that's something that you feel shameful about and you regret, and say you're out with your girlfriends from college and they're talking about the things that you guys used to get into and you're sitting there and you're into it and you're bragging and even though this was something that you truly felt shameful for, once you've turned away from that, it needs to be a true lesson learned where you don't glorify it in any moments moving forward. As I mentioned earlier, that sometimes we're still paying for the consequences of these choices. You feel guilty sometimes because you're still living in that. The outcome of that decision is part of your life now. That is really tough. These are the times you have to stay mentally grounded and understand that you have put yesterday behind you and you are only focused on things moving forward, things in the future. Regardless of what's going on around you currently, you do not have to be mentally stuck there. But for a lot of people, the things that they're guilty about, no one's ever even found out about. They don't have any tie to it except mentally, which is the biggest tie dragging them down. And in those cases, if it's not something that needs to be broadcasted, but you feel bad about it and you haven't paid the consequence for it, one of the biggest things that you can do to help yourself just put that to rest is do good. Now you can choose to do good in that particular area, or you can choose to do good 
in general. Things like random acts of kindness, doing kind things for strangers, if there's an organization that's tied to that particular mistake, that does help kind of restore you when you're able to do things that are positive and give back in that area. Something that I continue to stress is that forgiving yourself does not mean that you think it was okay. It does not mean that. What it means is that you have made peace with what you did in terms of accepting it and you are moving forward and aren't going to repeat it again. Mentally, you have told yourself this will never happen again. The enemy uses guilt and shame to keep you locked down in order to just stop you from being happy, stop you from being able to really experience what your life should be like, stops you from being able to fulfill your purpose, to help other people, to be free. If you're really having a tough time coming out of this and you need some inspiration, then I would drown myself in listening to things like sermons, podcasts, things that are very positive, and just feeding myself with positivity that will naturally lighten my spirits, lift me up, and give me that sort of like confidence that things are gonna get better. Positive affirmations are really important. It may sound corny or cheesy, but you guys, it works, okay? If you really wanna heal and you really wanna grow, try new things. Positive affirmations work because you are telling your brain, this is what I am, and naturally you will adapt to being those things. So if you're feeling very shameful about maybe canceling all the time on your friends, if you make a positive affirmation where every morning you stand in the mirror and you say, I am a reliable and dependable friend and I keep my promises. If you say that enough, when something comes up and you are just feeling lazy and you know you don't have to cancel, that affirmation will just naturally pop up in your head. I am a dependable, reliable friend and I keep my promises and you will stick to that appointment. It's a process, it takes time, but whatever it was, whatever avenue you feel like you messed up in, it's important to just flip it and talk to yourself in the opposite way and let yourself know that that is not who you are and that is not who you will ever be again. Honey, if you say it enough, you will start to believe it and it will become you. One of my favorite artists, her name is India Ari, sings a song that I used to just cling onto and it's called I Choose. And in that song, she's basically releasing all of the restraints that life tries to hold her down with in terms of shame and guilt and choices and just breaks free and decides to be the person that she wants to be and not letting her past dictate who she is. And as a young person, that was the most powerful song for me. I used to sing it and like scream it out loud because it's true. And your past should not and cannot dictate who you are. You are forever changing, forever evolving, forever growing beautiful. Pray about it, meditate on it, free yourself of it, and stop thinking about it forever. All right, my loves, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that something that I shared resonated with you. If it's something that you know that someone else might need to hear, please share it with that person. I appreciate all of your support on my channel, and I thank you guys for being a part of my YouTube family. I will see you guys in the next video. Big kisses to you all. Mwah. I hope you guys all have a wonderful morning, and I will see you in the next video.